Hello again, folks. This is Stephen Daniels with DUI and New Consultants. We're here again today uh, with the Florida. Um, this is the same evidentiary instrument the machine as Florida uses, the Intoxilizer 8000. Um, we're going to do a demonstration today to show you that the machine uh, has serious, serious difficulties in determining the, the difference between mouth alcohol and breath alcohol. Um, mm. If you blow like someone who's been arrested for DUI, you blow slow and steady and just enough to activate the tone. You can fool the machine every time, or the machine will determine that your mouth alcohol is actually brack, and you'll wind up getting arrested. So if you regurgitated or vomited right before you took the test, and the officer didn't ask you like he's supposed to, or you didn't know that you're supposed to tell him, hey, I just threw up, um, you're, if you're bringing alcohol, any, any alcohol content in your stomach you're bringing up, it, it will read it as breath alcohol. So I'm going to blow zeros right now to show you I have no mouth alcohol, no breath alcohol. All right, you got a sufficient sample there. You got zeros for no mouth Good. alcohol, no breath. 1.308 for the breath volume. So what I'm going to do now, this is my vodka choice. This is what I, I tell you what, this makes the best dirty martini uh, with some stuffed blue cheese olives. I'm just going to take a little bit of this vodka, I'm going to swish it in my mouth, and um, I'm going to spit it out. Um, and it's going to read his alcohol. Alright, spit it out. I can feel that burn from the, from the alcohol in my mouth. I'm going to use a fresh mouthpiece. This is how they do it, folks. So if you got charged with refusal, we're taught to do this in class, to poke it through the plastic and not touch the mouthpiece. The problem with that is a piece of plastic could get stuck in there and prohibit you from providing the breast sample. All right, now I have three minutes to blow. Once it says, please blow, I can still feel that tone. Um, so I'm going to have to blow as slow as I can, just enough to activate the tone. <laughs> and hopefully I can get you a high reading. My personal best is, the best is a 547, so let's see what we get this time. All right, there you go. I just blew a 472. 472 with a 1.164 breath volume, folks. Again, that was pure mouth alcohol. I blew just like FDLE department inspector Don Surratt said in an email when all of his HC inspectors in his areas were having problems with the mouth alcohol test. I've got the email, so if you need it, I will email it to you. He specifically said that he would come down there and do that part of the test for them if they couldn't do it. He wanted them to take the pharmaceutical grade alcohol, swish your mouth, either swallow it or spit it out, and specifically this is what he said in his email blow just enough to activate the tone. So, when I read that email, I started seeing, I'm going to do some tests, but just enough to activate the tone. And what you've seen right there, folks, that should scare the hell out of you. This is another reason why you shouldn't drink and drive. This machine has some serious, serious difficulties in determining the difference between true breath alcohol and mouth alcohol. You just saw it. I blew a, four, a .472 that was pure mouth alcohol, folks. The machine has breath alcohol. Once again, this is Stephen Daniels of DUI New Consultants. Please, please, these machines are so bad, don't drink and drive. Thanks again.